What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part. Uh, we basically did some of the remaining tasty recipes. In this part we're going to do all the remaining side quests before we go to chapter 8. Now I have to clarify something. I recorded this entire rest of the game in this one session which is the last five parts and they're all going to be post commentary because I initially recorded the last five parts in one sitting but um, the sound went out during the recording so because of that... Uh, just the, the entire recording had no sound, so because of that, uh, these last five parts are going to be post-commentary with added music. I really apologize for this, but uh, it's the only way I can really save the playthrough without uh, going back. If we, anyway, if we use the mushroom, the, the remaining tasty recipes are, uh, if we use the mushroom and the strange leaf, we get the, uh, hold on a second. If we use the mushroom and the strange leaf, we get none other than uh, a Voltstrom. And I'll cut for a little bit. Um, anyway, so uh, we should we should have two tasty recipes, but I should uh, I probably should cut the footage eventually. But uh, yeah, I cut the footage right there. But um, so anyway, the next tasty recipe is um, if we use a cake mix and a life shrum. We use a cake mix and a life shroom. Sorry, my, my video player is kind of lagging right there, but um, but anyway, we use a cake mix and a life shroom. We have a sweet shroom, and that's one of the other ones I'm missing. Finally, the uh, last one, I probably should jump cut eventually. Yeah, I jump cut right here, but um, yeah, the last one um is basically if we use a melon, we have to use a melon to get one of the ingredients um because it involves one of the tasty recipes. Um, this is the healthy juice that is the last tasty recipe we missed throughout the game, but um. Yeah, we get the special shake, but, um, yeah, and, uh, we have to use the special shake, and we have to use the strange leaf. And if, you know, and with all that, we get the, uh, we get the healthy juice, so, um, yeah, I will, uh, so I guess all we have to do now is get the remaining star pieces and the remaining badges, so, um, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna, oh, Chuck Quizmo, um, I forgot I did Chuck Quizmo here in the recording, uh, yeah, we're gonna get all the Chuck, remaining Chuck Quizmo quizzes in this video, I kinda jump cut to, uh, where they are, where the Oshka describes you, she's bossy, anyway, so, um, yeah, we got a star piece there, but, um, we pretty much have 13 more Chuck Quizmo quizzes left in this video, but, uh, yeah, this video is going to tackle all the remaining side quests, but uh, yeah, we're going to go to uh, our house and basically see all of our stats that we're going to get in this part. But um, I basically edited, I edited in all the game music the, to relevant tracks basically before I started recording the commentary, so it's easier. But uh, we have five more badges left to get. We have seven more star pieces. We have all the Chuck, we have all the tasty recipes. So um, we're making some progress. So. Um, I could, I could have just um, done the whole game over, but the problem is it's 16 hours of gameplay, and also I'm going on vacation next week as I'm recording this, so uh, yeah, I cannot, I do not really have time to play six, play Paper Mario for 16 hours to get back where I was, so uh, it really sucked. I went through this whole playthrough without really having much of a, many failed recordings, and it does suck that I have a botched recording that I saved during at the very end. So um, we have to kind of do it like this, but we have to go to uh, Merlo, and uh, we also have to deliver the letter to her. So um, yeah, we delivered the uh, letter, and uh, we get a star piece out of that. So um, we get the star piece. So we're gonna buy. We basically have, we have two more badges left to get from Merle's. It's the HP drain, the flower saver, but. Um, there's actually a flower saver that I, another flower saver that I forgot to get throughout the game that I uh, got in this video, that I should have gotten in this video, that I got in this video, so, um, yeah, basically any star pieces that you miss throughout the whole game, I, I recommend just, um, reading the fortune, but, uh, first we're gonna do badging, because I was trying to wonder what, where we were, that we, um, yeah, we basically, and then, like, after I had this fortune told, I remembered a badge that I forgot throughout the whole game, which is the uh, flower saver that's in flower fields. I probably should have got that in chapter six, but uh, 
yeah, it's a lucky day bad, which we get from delivering the last letter. So eventually I jump cut to a, eventually I jump cut to a Goompapa and Goomba village, who was the last letter. Actually, wait a minute. This is the, uh, this is the bad we forgot I mentioned. So, um, yeah, we, if we get, if we put the blueberry in the hole, uh, we basically, uh, we get a, we get a flower saver badge was the, uh, second, really the, the third to last badge of the game. The last badge in general is in chapter eight. So, um. So yeah, now we delivered the letter to Goompapa and Goomba Village, and um, we delivered the letter. So we basically we get the lucky day badge. That's when you complete all the co the letters and goes all the way back to Goompapa. Now I did read the dialogue in between um, in, during a lot of the dialogue. So unfortunately, it was live commentary. It's like um, eventually I go Chuck Quizmo hunting. So. Um, I go Chuck Wismo hunting, but um, I think I jump cut to I until I eventually find him. But um, yeah, there he is. So um, anyway, so this is this is uh, this is gonna be a montage of the last Chuck Wismo quizzes. But um, the question is, who was the crossbow from Post Up Pwn Off? That'd be Merlon's house. And eventually I jump cut to the, I get the remaining Chuck Wismo quizzes, but, um, I also get the, I also get some of the remaining star pieces. So yeah, we're, we're basically just going to get the remaining Chuck Wismo quizzes. So, uh, we're going to keep the Goomba Village track playing because I'm a little lazy when it comes to the editing, but the name of Lacklaster's girlfriend is Lakalulu. And we get a star piece out of that. And, uh, I should jump cut, uh, in a second, but, um, yeah, it's in, it's also in this, most of the ones I get are in Goomba Village, so that's the other reason I don't I I don't I kind of jump I keep the Goomba Village track playing, but um yeah, so we're basically going to uh we're basically going to um yeah you in order to get the totem flavor on you hit a tree, so uh yeah, and then we're gonna cut and then we find him again. And who was inside Club for 64? Um, Club Pop Diva. And we have six more Chuck Quizmo quizzes left. So, um, and this one's in Koopa Village. I think I, get, I think this is the one I actually get wrong during the recording, but, um, well, if I, no, this isn't the one. Shy guys never do it sing, but, um, yeah, I was a little hesitant to say sing during the actual recording, but, um, Anyway, so we're gonna cut and uh, we actually got this one in Dry Dry Outpost, but um with Mario Luigi or Brothers and um Yeah and we'll jump cut to uh, the next one which um Actually, I forgot. I went and got a magic upgrade during this recording while I was in Dry Dry Outpost. Um, but yeah, I kind of left it in the video, but um, we did get a. I just kind of. I felt I kind of needed it for Chapter 8, so. Um, sorry if my commentary sounds boring. I'm not as good as po at post commentary, but um, it's unfortunate because I don't have time to do six, 16 hours of gameplay over again to get to where I was. There's also a second reason why I chose to do this method because there's always different things I forget whenever I 100% Paper Mario. Anyway, so um, did I not cut this? Uh, anyway, I think I just found Chuck Quiz Mario. That's why I didn't really cut. But uh, anyway, so this next Chuck Quiz Mario question is um, question is what is Fort Starborn Valley? That'd be Ninji. You don't even find penguins at all throughout this game, so um, actually you find penguins in Shiver City, but that's it. And that's this is the one of the last Chuck Wismo quizzes, and it's actually the last Chuck Wismo quiz, and he also gives a different bit of dialogue. And this is the last one, so um 
last one is uh, how many star spirits have we saved in total? That'll be seven. Anyway, so um, yeah, that's all the Chuck Wismo quizzes. So um, now we're gonna cut to shooting. Now we should be able to cut to shooting Star Summit and just get the and try to see if we can hatch the remaining star pieces, which we got right there. So um, yeah, I basically got my fortune told, and uh, I basically try to see if I can nab the last three star pieces in the last badge. But um, yeah, we're we have three more star pieces left to get. So. Um, The star piece is in Mount Rugged, so I will, uh, I'm will. i eventually going to cut there, but um, yeah, you basically spin jump in an area in Mount Rugged. That's one of the star pieces I, I forgot about the game, so uh, we're going to cut to Mount Rugged, and um, yeah, we should be able to cut there eventually. I don't remember when I cut there during the recording. Yeah, I cut there, so um, yeah, so it's, yeah, basically, uh, you don't go back to Mount Rugged after Chapter 2, so that's a, this is an easy star piece to forget, but um, we got that star piece, so I'll see, I'll see you guys back at a Shooting Star Summit. Yeah, there, now we're at Shooting Star Summit, so um, we're basically going to find out what that other two star pieces are. They're all star pieces that I forgot throughout the adventure, like we did all the letters and all the uh, star pieces that we get from people. We see a star piece as we walk around Pleasant Path with the blue candy cane. So I'll see you guys at a uh, Pleasant Path. So uh, be able to cut in three, two, one. Yeah. The, so um, yeah. This is the area. The next area is the area I forgot the star piece in. But um, yeah. We go over here and we get that star piece. So uh, I'll see you guys back at Shooting Star Summit. Yeah, sorry for the sloppy editing in this part, but uh, I was rushing to get that music in, but, um... Alright, uh, star piece is the last star piece, and, I uh, believe it or not, it's actually in, uh... See if we can find it really quickly. Yeah, he says it's in a uh, booze mansion so i'll see you guys at a uh, booze mansion it's the area we got the record in chapter three anyway so yeah let's get to chapter three and uh we're, we're not in chapter three we're in chapter eight but uh we're gonna get the record and this is the last star piece we have to get in the game so i have to do all we have to do is go I cut back to Shoon Star Summit and uh, yeah, let's get the last remaining badge. So uh, yeah, we're uh, we have all but one of the badges in the game, and the last badge we have to get is in Chapter Eight. So um, we've definitely made a lot of progress. Like we have all the, we have all the star pieces, we have all the Chuck Wismo quizzes, and we have all, all the tasty recipes. So. We've almost a hundred percent this, so um Yeah, the one last thing I want to show, which I never showed throughout this video, is the little oinks. But, um, basically you drop, uh, ten of them, and they basically, um, basically, they're ten coins for little oinks, and, uh, if you get ten of them in there, basically, if you put in an eleventh, eventually one's gonna drop an item and run away. You can get, like, ultra shrooms and jam and jellies, but they're more rare, but, um, I think I get an ultra shroom, like, right away during this, uh, part, but, um, the gold ones are going to drop the ultra shrooms, and the silver ones are going to drop the jam and jellies, but those ones are less common. 
So if you have a lot of coins in the early portion of this game, you can get really lucky and get an Ultra Shroom and they will help with tasty recipes. Yeah, so sorry for dozing off, but uh, eventually um, I'm just trying to get an, a 12th one in there so we can get the Ultra Shroom because I, I got pretty surprised that I got a gold one right away, but... Um Yeah, well, um, I think uh, I think one or two more. Uh, yeah, one more, and we start getting the uh, items. I think that's the tenth one, or the it's either the tenth one or the eleventh one. But um, yeah, this is the tenth one. So uh, eventually, we'll put an eleventh one in there. I'm just trying to get the uh, a 12th one in there so I can get that Ultra Shroom. And uh, getting the Shooting Star would be nice, but uh, yeah, you can get a lot of good items in this area if you have a lot of coins. Yes, yeah, so we get an Ultra Shroom, so uh, might as well go, might as well, we're gonna go grab that. Now, if you open the fence, all the, the little lines are gonna run away, so um, I was wondering if I got this uh, star shooting star in time, but I did. But we got the ultra shroom, so um, yeah. All we have to do, all I'm gonna do now, is basically uh, show off our stats, and uh, all I'm gonna do now is basically show off our stats and uh, like um, in our house, and that's all I really did that last part, but um. Yeah, so, um, basically, basically, we have all these star pieces, we have one badge, we have another thing in chapter two, we have all the tasters, it's all cut off as part of Paper Mario, so, next time on Paper Mario, as I, uh, get away from the menu, next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna go towards chapter eight, see you guys then.